These guys are safe. Very safe. Where's my car? Oh, yeah. I'm um, gonna turn this into projects for the Yetis. We're gonna make uh, snow castles and caverns for them. I'm gonna employ them for shoveling for future. Problem is, by the time I get it all done, winter will be over. It's never ending. That's how I do things. I gotta move this area, and then I trudge it all the way over there, dump it, because I don't like dumping the snow into my neighbor's stuff, because, you know, it's just, it's etiquette. Etiquette. Because you don't want to flood out their, their basement when the thaw comes, and plus, you know, people have dryer vents and stuff like that, so you don't want to cause any carbon monoxide. <laughs> Unlike some of my neighbors who just blows their snow onto the other house. I think you can't see it because the trucks are in the way, but... Here, well, let's get over here. Then you'll see what I mean by snow removal unetiquette. I mean, it's like I'm doing this with a shovel and other people have like snow blowers and stuff like that, so I don't see why they do the things that they do. But you see how the... The snow's piled up against the house. That's uncool. Because that's just going to flood when it thaws. But yeah, this is uh, my world. My world is a snow apocalyptic world. And watch out for the icicles, they'll impale you. Ah, ha, ha. All right. Well, I got to get back to work. So just thought I'd share some more of my snow. But yeah, it's like this mound was a lot smaller. Yeah. I'm gonna have another beer.